Hi everybody, it's Amy. Today we are out here in gorgeous Winter Garden, Florida, and we are at a community called Summer Lake Groves. Kay Hovnanian is the builder, and they have some incredible, incredible homes to see. They have a lot of model homes, which I know is really nice for you when you're thinking about communities. Shows you a great idea of what they have. This particular home is called the Xavier, a little over 3,600 square feet, five bedrooms, four and a half baths, and it's gorgeous, so let's go take a look. First, I wanna show you that this particular exterior elevation, I love it. You have a great extended front porch right here, as well as these arches. Now, this exterior elevation that, that they have done here for this model home, they have the stone here with these arches. I love for you to kind of see that not all homes have to come with the stone, but it's a great and really magnificent dynamic accent if you like that. This also has the front garage, so you have a two-car garage here. Really, really beautiful. Now. The designers, I have to tell you, with these model homes, please remember, model homes are always um, done with extra options and upgrades, um, just some extra things that you can add. Of course, they're decorated and they're designed and they're color schemed and they're gorgeous. It's a great way to show you the possibility. You can build this floor plan and you can make it look just like this if you want to. This is a gorgeous home. So as soon as you come in the front door over here to your left, you have this really magnificent area. Now, here you can see that they have it staged as an office. Um, I love this, what they've done over here um, with, the, with the books here up on the shelves that they've, they've kind of created a really great designer tip and a nice little DIY um, thing if you like. But you can also imagine this room many other ways. If you really wanted a formal living room, this room is plenty big for that. If you really wanted to make this a formal dining room, you could do that as well. So this is a great space here as soon as you enter the front of the home. My personal pick for this home is the Alligator Bookend. I don't know where they bought them, but I would like to buy them because that's as close as I ever, ever, ever want to get to an alligator. And I don't mind touching this one, it's fine. Really cute, right? It's clever. Another thing I want to point out, and I just want to point it out because we noticed it when we first walked through. This is an incredible brick wall. I love it. I love the way that they have done the brick, except that, you know what? The brick is wallpaper. So this is really nice. You cannot tell by looking at it. It looks absolutely real, and that's a great, great, great thing to think about. All right, so here you have your nice big formal dining room. So I guess in reality, you don't want to make that a formal dining room because you have your formal dining room, but you still could utilize that first space as your formal living room again if you wanted. This is a great space. Again, there's a lot of room in this room. This is a wide, very big and very square dining room. A lot of dining rooms are more narrow and rectangular in shape. This one is not. This one is really big and square. So think about that. Do you have some really cool killer table that you want to bring and you're looking for a square dining room? I found it for you. You're welcome. Okay, so we're going to move on into the main hub of the home. The way the designers have laid out the color scheme, the color palette, and the, um, the whole design vibe for this is really beautiful. So if you're thinking summer home, if you're thinking summer vacation home, if you're thinking I'm going to live in it all the time and just be on vacation 24-7, you know what? You deserve it. So here's your new home. This is beautiful. I love that they have done the wood floor here and then they have this nice um, the little area rug on it. Again, continues with the whole beachy, you know, Florida vibe. This is an enormous, enormous, enormous room. Huge space right here. Really large. So take a look at this room itself. Look at the great design tips over there. Love that shelving. I'm not sure if that's something you'd have to put together. You can build it, but that's really cool. So this area is completely open from the family room into this kitchen. This kitchen is also incredible. You have a ton of counter and cabinet space, and you have an absolutely gigantic island. This is beautiful. I love that they've done the pendant lighting up above, so that's something you can consider as well. You have a really nice area. I also want to point out that this community is a gas community. Um, I have a lot of buyers that are looking specifically for gas, maybe electric, but they want the gas, or maybe they just want the electric. Here you go. It's very hard to find gas communities, and this is one, so this is really nice. So you have this great kitchen, a lot of counter space. It's very light, bright, open, and airy. Back tucked over here is your garage entrance. So this would be the entrance to your garage right here. You come in, hard day's work. You open your door. 
It's right there. You've parked your car. Your sons are so diligent. They've already taken the trash out for you. You come in and this is a great little drop zone. I love this. So I also love that they've done the cabinets up above and they've given you very functional cubbies here for things that you really actually need um, kind of to grab very quickly and on the go. So that's really nice. File that away in case that's something you want to add to your home. And then over here you have your downstairs powder bath. Again, really nice. This is tucked back and behind the kitchen. It's actually a great location for the powder bath. It's not in the kitchen space. It's tucked away. It's also away from the guests and everybody when you're out and you're um, having get-togethers. So it's kind of, kind of private. All right, really beautiful. Now, I want to point out this area over here. This particular area, because of the way this is shaped and this bay of windows right here that's going to look out to your amazing outdoor area, if that's what you choose to build, I love that they've, do, uh, they've chosen to do circular table, circular rug, and then something else. This just really absolutely makes this whole thing is this little niche cut out right here. Really, really dynamic. I love that they've done the inset paint, this beautiful color. It's arched up above, and they've just simply added a piece of artwork. Little teeny tiny things like that really make the house have a lot of wow factor. All right, I do, speaking of wow factor, want to point out the backyard possibilities. Now remember, these are model homes. So can you buy this home? Well, maybe at some point in time, but right now it's their model home. So no, this home right here that I'm standing in is not the one that's for sale, but you can build this home. You could build this Xavier floor plan here in this community, and you can make it look just like this one if you want. Now the thing that this home has that I think a lot of my buyers are going to like is that the master bedroom is upstairs, but there are five bedrooms and downstairs there is this incredible guest bedroom or, you know, kids bedroom. It's beautiful, a nice big bedroom, but what this particular bedroom has is its own bathroom. So that is a great, great option. If you would like to have a downstairs bedroom with a full bath for either your college kid, a high school kid, just one of your kids in general, Maybe you have an in-law that lives with you, or maybe you know that because you live in Florida now, you're going to be inundated with those pesky friends and family members that want, I'm just kidding, you're not pesky, that want to come and visit. They want to stay because you know why? I don't know if I rem reminded you that we're like one exit down from Disney World. So you're super close to Disney. You're here in Orlando, and you know that you're going to have people coming to visit. So this room that I'm in right now might just be that wonderful guest room. Okay, a lot more house to see, so we're going to head upstairs, and I'll meet you there in just a minute. Okay, so now we're upstairs with this Xavier floor plan. And remember, we're here in Summer Lake Groves. Kay Hovnanian is the builder. The upstairs of this home is really smart. So smart. This is a five-bedroom home. And if you remember downstairs, we had that bedroom with the full bathroom. So you have a great guest room or, again, family member if you need the five bedrooms for all family members. But look what you have upstairs. As soon as you come up the stairs, you have this really nice loft area. The way they have it staged here in this model home is wonderful. It also shows you that you have a ton of space. If you wanted to have a pool table in here with a nice gaming station for kids, you still have ample space to do that. I like it the way they have it designed here. It also shows you you've got two full-size sofas and a plenty of extra floor space. All right, so upstairs we're going to have the four bedrooms, three bedrooms plus the master. These two bedrooms I like because they're kind of tucked over here to this side of that game room or flex space. Nice size bedroom. This one is at the rear of the home and you have a nice walk-in closet. If I can find the light. Okay, there it is. So you have a nice size uh, walk-in closet there from corner to corner. Here's your space. The other thing I like about this is that, again, they have real furniture in here. So you're going to have a full-size bed. They've got nightstands, and they've got a nice chest of drawer dresser type situation in this walk-in closet. So you have plenty of space here in this room for all the furniture that you need. Over here, you have the bathroom that those two bedrooms over here are going to share. So you have a nice counter space, your sink. Back over here, you have, that's over here, um, but you have a nice, um, uh, the toilet and the shower stall is back behind us over there. And then you have the other bedroom over here. So this is really nice. These two bedrooms are kind of connected right here. Really nice. Also, just noticed on the ceiling. I looked at the room a minute ago, but I didn't notice the ceiling. Look at that. They have an airplane kind of painted up onto the ceiling. Really clever. People are so creative. Okay, so again, nice big bedroom. Very big in size. And you also have this nice big closet with a double sliding door here. Really nice. Okay, so two bedrooms with the bathroom over there. You have your loft space, but we're not done yet. We still have another bedroom, a huge laundry room, and the master. So backing up over here, we're going to have another bedroom. 
This bedroom also whoop, has a lot of space. You have a, a big walk-in closet over here, nice amount of space over here, and this bedroom has its own bathroom. That's what makes this floor plan really, really versatile. Think about you and your family and who's going to be utilizing these rooms these homes, the space that you're living in, are they here all the time, are they only here sometimes, are they visitors? This is phenomenal. So another bedroom with its own bathroom, that's incredible. Now one other thing that I like, and it's silly that one of my favorite things about this house is the laundry room, but that's the truth. I hate laundry, but I like a laundry room. This is really nice. Now this particular um, one, you can see they've added some additional cabinetry up above. You have the nice washer dryer, but this is what I like the most. It has an additional space tucked back over here. So this additional space can really be utilized however you want. Okay, great. They have it staged. They got the cute little dog food and the little dog dishes. That's a phenomenal way to utilize the space. But again, think about your family. Do you like to stock up on those paper towels and toilet paper? Do you have a lot of extra linens because you change sheets all the time and you want to have a nice gorgeous display of color coordinated towels? Think about that space. It's a great extra little tucked away space to utilize it practically however you want. Okay, master bedroom. Okay, first of all, K. Hope Nanian, you are phenomenal. The designers are phenomenal. These are some of the most beautiful floor plans I have seen, and I am so excited to be able to show them to you. This master bedroom is really beautiful. I'm going to go corner to corner. I'm going to stand behind the plant. There we go. Really nice size master bedroom. Really beautiful. I love that they've done the tray ceiling and they've added the beams within the tray ceiling, which is also really nice. And I also want to show you that with this particular exterior elevation, with this particular home, you have, um, you have this master balcony that you can have out here. It's an additional space that you can utilize privately just to kind of relax. It's kind of like, uh, you know, the owners of the home get their own little retreat. And I think that's well deserved and well needed. Let's take a quick peek here over the, um, over the railing so you can kind of get an idea of the outdoor pool area, maybe from up above since we didn't go out while we were downstairs. But look at this. Look at this additional space that you have outdoor living area you have those extended pavers you've got lounging area with chairs to get in and soak in some of that florida sunshine on both sides of the pool huge pool and you also have the area up above with a nice like fire pit and then if you look out in the distance you can see lake uh hmm, what is it like hickory Huckleberry. Uh, huckle oh, Huckleberry. Thank you, cameraman. Lake <laughs> Huckleberry. Okay, so there it is. I knew it was an H. I was pretty good. Okay, so again, great space out here. I love it when you have an additional little um, tucked away private oasis for, for mom and dad, somebody to come out here, you know, again, your own little place to relax. Okay, so beautiful, beautiful. Now, we're going to go look at that master bathroom because that's also beautiful, beautiful. You have this real, okay, first of all, I love the white tile, the white shiny Huge tile. These tiles, and I'm not sure because I do not have a ruler with me, but I would guess that they are like 24 by 24 inch tiles. They are really large tiles. Beautiful. They're at least 18 by 18, but I think 24 by 24 or somewhere around there. Anyway, beautiful. You have this great, um, great counter is what they've chosen in here, but the main thing is to see this bay of um, this um, of the cabinets that you have as well as the counter space. Nice sinks for, for both uh, members, and then you have this great big space here as well. I also like this big glass door shower and I like the freestanding tub. We're seeing a little bit more of that here with these model homes and I like that. Um, this is really nice. It's again, it's more clean. I feel like it, it just looks cleaner. Okay, so again, nice big master um, closet. Really nice. Okay, and I know if you've watched my videos, I get really excited when there's a window inside the, um, and the closet and I, I, maybe it's because I'm older now and I have to wear the reading glasses and I can't see anything. And so it gives me more light so I can pick out what outfit I'm wearing, but you know, it's still beautiful. Okay, so we're gonna wrap up this video here. We are in the Xavier floor plan with Kay Hovnanian um, is the builder here in Summer Lake Groves. We're in Winter Garden, Florida. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful place to live. Beautiful place to either come here and raise your family or it's a great place to come and relax after you've raised your family. If you're trying to come here to settle down, to um to downsize or in this case maybe upsize either way this is a great community a fantastic builder with so many options of floor plans we're going to find something that you want please remember i do not work for the builder i do not represent the builder i'm simply a real estate agent here working on your behalf i'm trying to show you these homes and all of the options and opportunities that we have for you here in this area I love it so much. I brought my family here and I want you to come and bring your family here and then we'll be friends. See, you already have a friend. Come on down. All right, so give me a call at 407-848-8042. You can email me at amy at heartandhomeorlando.com. 
You can also subscribe, please subscribe to the YouTube channel and that way you'll be updated with all the latest and greatest video tours of model homes, inventory homes, resale homes, communities, amenity centers, anything you want, I'm here for you. Remember, using me as your buyer agent is always free to you always free to you. So please make sure you give me a call. One more thing before I go. If you go to my website, heartandhomeorlando.com, if you look in the upper right hand corner, it will say wish list. If you click on wish list, there's a quick form for you to fill out. It'll tell me some basic information about what it is that you and your family are possibly looking for in your move to this area. And again, using me as your buyer agent is always free to you. So for free, of course, I'm going to send you some options of some great options for you homes and communities here in this area. Okay, so give me a call 407-848-8042. That's it. I'm out. Happy house hunting.